rather it hadn't, to be honest. But, uh, Lauren Scott House. So this isn't where I wanted to be either, but it does look very exciting. Like, look at this. Oh, Titania. No, Titania. I did want to go here. Why did I want to go here? Because they wanted... They wanted stained glass or something. Yeah, they wanted panes of stained glass. But I, I don't know where they could get them from. Yeah, I don't know where I could I don't know where I can find them for you. The port unfurls itself welcome you ashore. This perfumed haven was intended for thinkers, artists, philosophers and poets. Instead, you enter its main dome, to find yourself surrounded by arguing bohemians and the unfinished shells of buildings in a variety of styles. Nobody looks happy, but everyone agrees it's someone else's fault. Let's write a port report. What is Titania? A question with no easy answer. To the poets, a place of inspiration. To the stone workers, an untouched slab. To the playwrights, a blank page. A place of tranquility, of creation. And, your interviewee pauses, suddenly looking worried. Do you hear buzzing? Apologies, must get inside. You can't see or hear anything. However, and must you can't see or hear anything, however, and must assume it's just force of habit. Now, oh, this must be where the bees are. I need to kill a bee, I think. Titania's petals fill... Yeah, we've already done that. Is this, um... This is more lore. A spectacular place, isn't it? We couldn't believe that nobody else had colonised it after, well, after, well, whoever built all the crystal domes and spires. Honestly, I can't believe our luck. The rhapsodic mare shakes her head. I think you will find us most self-sufficient, Captain. Enjoy your visit. Take in some poetry, and if I think of anything that we might require, you will be the first to know. Okay. Let's explore. Light sparkles through the jeweled petals onto the marble white pass. Wherever you explore, poets and singers perform their latest works, while artists peer behind canvases to try and capture the beauty in oil and chalk. In the horrors of the high wilderness, this is a place of safety and wonder, where nothing could possibly disturb the peace. Hmm. What is that buzzing in the distance? Return to Titania later to see how it is faring. Are they going to be taken over by bees? Bees? Donate Sky Stories. I ain't, I ain't giving you nothing. I ain't giving you nothing. Ooh, I can buy some honey. Hmm. hmm. I can just buy more supplies. Oh, that'll be too many. Uh, one less fuel. Cool. cool. What do I have on me? What's in my, my um, hold? Ah yes, the wood and the gems and some ammo for some reason. Okay, so they're slowly being taken over by bees. I'm sure it'll be fine. Do not worry about them. But that was not where I wanted to go. Unless I can find where I can make stained glass. In which case then I'd love to come back here. Not the bees. Is this in its own little hole? Like a little hidey hole? Is there a way out? something over there. That's quite a ways away, but... Oh, some more hardwood. Uh... Sure. I really need to go and sell this. Huh. 
odd. Is there a way to go that way? Or is this completely sealed off? Looks like it might be. So there's just a dead end up there. Yeah, that's that's blank. But now your chief engineer tells you it conceals a deeper structural issue. I can try and use my veils. Hey! You've gained some hull and I have a vision of the heavens. Okay, so there's no way out of this thing. Very odd. Very odd. I guess we'll head back to port and then just go up, maybe? Now, they said Titania was north of New Winchester. Wait. What's north? Is this north? Or is this north? take more of this wood, but it's so valuable, isn't it? Hey Davey, welcome, welcome. This is Sunless, Sunless Skies. could use some hull. Cool. Doesn't look like there's... If there's a way up, then that would be very useful. If I can go up and around. Also gives us more map knowledge, which is good. Let's send out the bat. Go, bat. I hear shooting. Ah, oh, good. More, more ice. My favourite. Nothing to report, eh, bat? Uh huh. Yeah, the dreadnought's fine. You're not very, you're not a very good shot, are you, Mister Dreadnought? I'm sure you'll do fine there. Nothing. Okay. So... Hmm. Let's hand in these port reports. And then I need to go... What do you reckon, Arid? Should we go down south southeast again? Should we give that a go? Or should we go north? Or, or even, like, here. I haven't discovered anything over here, right? It's probably a better idea. Friend, 
we'll head in. We'll get an invitation to this perjurance thing. Whatever that is. Hello. Looking at, at me a little bit too long there, buddy. Okay. I'm going to give my poor reports to the secretary. A good amount of money. And I would like an invitation to perjurance. A party. Yes, what fun. I hand over the invitation. And inform me that if you wish to make use of it, you'll need to get to Albion through the relay at Port Prosper. Port Prosper again, eh? South, southeast of New Winchester. Do I know which way's east? North, east, south, west. Yes, it should be that way. Flower garden. She requires verdant seeds and lots of them. Five sacks to be exact. I can do that. I can do flowers. I have trees for you. And these. And this. That is a lot of money. What can I get? Requires iron 25. Hey, Aki. Welcome, welcome. What were you up to? Shielding? Do I have an engine? I do. It's, it is this engine. It is this engine, right here. 1,200. That's a lot of money. Morning. I could upgrade my sh engine. But it's, it's just worse. Hey, Chaos. I'm driving some trucks with some chill tunes. Nice. I can almost buy some relevant stuff, but I could buy some plating or even another gun. Huh, maybe another gun is a good idea. You could fry eggs on it. Bedtime. See ya, Aki. Have a good bedtime. Let's buy another gun. Let's do that. Hey, uh, Ego, welcome, welcome. Okay, we need to find this thing that's that's south southeast. Alternatively, I could make a ton of money. I think I'm going to go for the ton of money. So, how does this gun work? Okay. Cool. So I got two guns. That's. Can't save long enough for work soon. Sure, enjoy work. I 
do want to make a ton of money though. Yeah, because we can go to we can go to the woods. We can buy a ton of we can buy five seeds, and we can head back to Tatania and and give them there, and that's going to get us a ton of money. Is that rain? Ooh. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's just a household, sure. There's a couple of these. Where are you trying to go? We're good at cutting open these, Kentankri. Goodbye, another crew. Thank you for the ten money. <laughs> and another crew. Incredible. to get a port report to get some money out of this journey. Buy cheap fuel. No, we're good. I need to I need to share gossip before I can get a port report, I guess. Otherwise, they, they aren't a fan of me asking questions. Actually, can I hire this guy? A signaler. Do I have room for that? Yes, I do. Deal. Oh, deal. He looks younger than most devils, but he is significantly older. His gaze is blank and yellow, a wall against speculation. He grooms his sideburns artfully and knows how to be tactful with less seasoned members of the crew. Let's converse. He sits with us back to the door and asks your, answers your questions with more questions. It's more than ordinary Cajunus. He does not trust you, which is strange considering how hard he wrangled to be aboard this engine in the first place. Once he asks, rather abruptly, how long your crew have been with you, and whether you took on anyone new at the last port. You cannot tell whether he likes your answer. Hmm. Hmm. Your newly acquired repentant devil is standing most unrepentantly over a body in the hallway. You haven't seen this person before. One of your crew, but the deceased is no one you know. A stranger on your locomotive. Peculiar luggage you've brought aboard. This is one of the crew, when some others have gathered. One have thought it would fit in your little bag. First, clean up. It won't do to leave the body in the hall, and then your repentant devil can explain himself. He's still got the blood on his cuffs. Excuse me, sir. Why, why have you killed a man? 
in my in my uh It was a stairway, explains the devil indifferently. He's been stalking me for more than a month. I, I thought I'd lost him when I came aboard and then he turns up in my quarters. From the body, he has lifted a clinking bag of souls. Perhaps he was sent to bribe me rather than to kill me. He tilts his head to consider the soul collection. Apparently he thinks I'm a cheap hire, if so. The devil gaze reverts to you. I regret to say, this is probably not the last time this happens. I may be destined to attract negative attention. Gained a lot of experience for that. Well, wow. alright. He's got some suggestions. He laughs when approach <laughs> Oh dear. A little obvious, perhaps. This gaze is amused and flickers with intensity. I have an idea that might be beneficial for us both. I'd like to improve the lives of the workers here at the home office on the Avid Horizon. If you don't mind permitting me a little shore leave... The devil will generate new prospects for the Avid Horizon if placed on secondment there. Okay. Alright. Ask about the state of his soul. He smiles blandly. It's not worth much in its present condition, he says plainly. Too flawed. I could cure you of all that if I had time and if I cared. And if it were not just as easy to take any of a dozen other innocent souls in a better state of repair. If you want it improved, you might, I suppose, try your luck at Corellian. Thanks, Repentant Devil. It was a good, good chat. Good chat. I've leveled up. Uh, so I want. I still want more hearts. I, I don't have enough hearts. And then I actually want more irons because it said that I need 25 for that thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have uh, August Avenues. You spend your youth in stuffy sitting rooms and chandelier parlors. Hush, and you can still hear the delicate sound of silver spoons on china cups. You're not ungrateful, but your life was hedged by bounds of civility. Wait, this is wrong. This is eyes. I want, don't want eyes. I want hearts. Ah, there you go. A mentor. A blind bruiser. I was mentored by a blind bruiser. There you go. Good. How do I get to the woods? That away. That away. I'm trying to keep um, I'm trying to keep my, my my flat nice and cold, so I've got all the windows open. And then there's the the one warm room which has giant windows. We just uh, we just close the door to that one and let it be nice and warm. <laughs> it's very odd, very odd situation in this place. It works, I guess. The sky is wrong. This is not where you were meant to be. Was it a trick of the mist? Has a wind carried you astray? Have the heavens themselves turned on their axis? Oh. Oh, no. Press on. A lonely house emerges from the mist. Networks of dead ivy still cling, cling, cleave to the walls. The windows and doors are open and dark. No smoke rises from the chimney. Wordlessly, your crew tether your engines, ignoring your orders, and some of them gather their belongings and prepare to disembark. This is our stop, one of them says. I, I don't think I'll succeed, but I can try. Excuse me? Oh no. You bar their way. At first you shove them back, but when they persist, you resort to your fists. It is hopeless. The weight of them and their resolve is too great. You fall and they trample you as they crowd through the hatch across the gravel drive and into the house. The doors close. The mists fold in. Your engine lurches suddenly adrift in the sky. The house is gone. Okay. Okay. I've got no crew. I don't remember whether the woods get, have the option to give me crew. It did, I think. Let's press on. Hey, Reavad. Welcome, welcome. Zero seems like a number of, lot of, a low number of crew. Yeah, we... Uh, so I found a house in some mists and all my crew were like, yeah, this is, this is our stop. Goodbye. Uh, so yeah, now I have no crew. 
And I'm just going to head to the woods and hope there's some crew there. They yeeted themselves. They calmly walked onto a house that, that we can't see anymore. I'm sure it is fine. Let me just get here so maybe I can find myself some crew. Just one. Just one crew. That's all I need. Just one, one singular crew. Any, any crew here? Ask for wood. Offer stable employment, yes. <gasps> One crew! <sighs> One whole beautiful crew. Some are disinclined to step foot inside a locomotive again. The wood provides a respite for many who are unable to adapt to life in the skies. Excuse me. But there are a few intrepid souls in search of adventures or freedom, or merely wanting to make the lives of Ravens Court and Stamford a little more difficult. They sign on, leaving the woods behind them. Yes, thank you for the one crew. Okay, I'm going to deal with you. Okay, so this is again. Uh, I think gather flowers again. Yeah, gather flowers. Ah. Don't lose the crew. No! Ah. Um. Uh. Maybe one of them wants to um, join me? The vituperative classicist compares your offering with the burnt toast and one tea that they have been suffering. Well, alright, I suppose. The woman is a vituperative classicist. Her companions are a dismal paleographer, a forlorn young man, and a feckless theologian, a handsome youth with an easy smile. They explain that they are here to enter the regent's grave where they believe a sleeping king lies buried. They do not agree as to the king's identity. Unfortunately, the college has cut our funding, the classicist explains. Speak to us if you would be interested in helping. Um, sure. How, how can I help? Your inquiry induces a rare spirit of cooperation in the scholars. The last expedition into the woods found a document written in the correspondence. It contains directions to a place called the Steward's Font, the theologian explains. Alas... That is all it needs to break their alliance. The paleographer begins to argue that the steward was a chief position in Charlemagne's household. The classicist makes a point of reference to Iana's, in I, Inanna's husband. The theologian smiles forced. If you could find the font, it would be an immense boon to my work. There sputters a protestation. Ah, ah, work. So I can get some, like, law. But I cannot get more crew. You know where I should have gone? I mean, not that it really matters, because we are... we're going to die. We 
we're just gonna have to we're gonna go to the the cricket place and hope there's some crew there and then go to New Winchester and we can probably get crew. As long as we live that long. We have we have some uh, officers, they can help. As long as we don't fight anyone, I think we're fine. I don't know what triggers the you have no crew, time to die. It is unfortunate that all of the crew decided to just walk off the ship. Um, ah, there we go. Uh, search the empty cabins for supplies? for fuel lost one supplies and eight oh that's fine that's that's oh that's that could have been a lot worse okay that's fine okay we can keep doing that that's achievable but ideally there's there's some crew ideally there's crew in Port Avon repairs. Fuel? Fuel. Give me fuel. Recruit crew. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Partial success. Good enough. You have one crew! Beautiful. I've done it. I have achieved not death. What can I buy? I can sell seeds. Well, I have seeds. There you go. I can buy bronze wood. I may as well. I'm going back to New Winchester. I can just buy it and then immediately sell it. One whole crew. It's enough to get by. That one crew can do a, a lot of work. As long as they don't also die. But we're just not going to talk to anyone. It'll be fine. Head back to New Winchester. Get a decent amount of crew. Interestingly, the combat system in some of the seas encourage you to get multiple guns. I think this one discourages you because it's a because um, it's a there's no cooldowns. In some of the seas, there were cooldowns to all your weapons. Oops. Change my back. 
Infantry. Okay, I would like some crew, please. Our first uh, munitions for Port Prosper's. Yes, more things I need to take to Port Prosper, sure. But I'm here to sell you the bronze wood I have. And I'd actually like to sell you this, this gun I bought off you, because I actually don't like it very much. But I can only sell it for half, so I guess I'm keeping it. hold oh that costs so much money though I want extra hold that sounds incredible okay, where does this go where do I put it the bridge slot or the auxiliary slot where does this go if it goes in the auxiliary slot that's very awkward if it goes in the bridge slot that's good what slot does it go into? Because these say that slot. Oh, that say that. That is that is auxiliary. Yeah, that's auxiliary. Uh, but I have the mining thing. Mm. I'm good, I guess. I could put this in the bank. There you go. Stay in the bank. That can be for a new guy if I need it. Um. Can I, can I start writing? Or do I not have enough Tales of Terror? I only have five. Hire crew! When can I start hiring crew? 15 days. When did I last? I think I've got four days till I can hire more crew, maybe. But I've got one crew, and surely that's enough. Surely. Let's uh, dump some port reports. A savage secret could be quite useful. That can help me buy um, something very exciting there. A bat, right? I think I can buy a special bat with that. So I think I can buy seeds from the reserve. I think I can buy, just buy them straight up. And then I can go and sell them to Titania. And then I can finally try and find this prosperity thing. I've been doing a lot of meandering, definitely.
This one crew has lasted a long time. Good job, crew. is passing through a sunbeam. Ooh. Ooh, join a hunting party? Ah. No, I, ca I cannot do this. Let's just reduce terror. Get the report report. Sorry, the man apologises. I didn't mean to stare. It's just we've been waiting for a delivery from London. And really important supplies. I, I don't suppose you might be heading anywhere near the relay to Albion, would you? If you could, check if anything's happened to it. We'd really appreciate it. Albion Transport Relay lies to the south-southeast of New Winchester, near Port Prosper. Doesn't everything... Doesn't everything... One, two, three, four, five. So I want five. So I'll sell two fuel. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. So now I want to head to Titania. Let's do that. Get us a lot of money. And then head south southeast, I guess, to the horror. And yeah, I'll give it like half an hour and then I'll call I'll call this stream. I I enjoy doing this, I don't know whether. Mm. Yeah. It's it's weird that cause cause it's a Sunday and I don't do it on the usual time. It is a, a bit odd for, for peeps. Crew to safety. I need that. Oh boy. Oh, crew. It's fine. The crew is safe. Good crew. Pat pat. This nice game. No idea what's happening, but it looks nice. Take any more hits. Be very careful. If I can get Hull off this, that'd be fantastic. Yes, Hull. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. No idea what's happening, but it looks nice. It does look lovely. I lo I'm loving the, the art. Like, the, the way everything's presented looks beautiful. And like obviously the textures aren't perfect, but I think this this thing here, like the moving the pat well like parallax backgrounds or whatever it is, look really nice. And we get so much hardwood from going around here, don't we? I remember. And that's very valuable. Flower of the Reach. Father wanted to move here, but bees happened. Yeah, what about all these bees? Oh, 
Oh, do I want to talk to my guy anymore? Because he, I think he wanted honey, right? I, have, I could get some honey. Not the bees. The bee. It's a big, big bee for me. Okay. Wait, what? Titania is under siege! Chorus of bees flood its streets and petals. The thrashing of their wings is the drumbeat of apocalypse. And the people flee in panic from their mighty stingers. But there is no safe harbour and no respite. Resp respite. All is lost. 55% uh, chance or flee the bee apocalypse. Pack to the train. Bees! Oh, come on. I should have. I should have known. Playing song drowns the lamentation and the fur fury in the mind. All the world joins death's hymnal. Those who proudly defy their feet and those who beg for wretched mercy. Those who raise their arms, those who buckle their knees. A chorus of hive takes the lyrics of poets yet unwritten. The unsung songs from the lips now forever silent. It is only iron and fire that quietens the voice of carnage. But lo, the song ends only by its own accord. Once the nectar is gathered, the hive departs and there is a lasting silence. The bees have won. Good job, bees. Captain, perhaps you can help settle a little matter for us. We've agreed that we need to choose one style and stick with it, but... Well, we find ourselves at an impasse. Your thoughts? I cannot advocate for anything, because I have never been to either of these places. I have seeds for you. Hooray! Good, I've got so much money. I can buy this and sell it at the at the main market. I've got some I could buy some honey for you, but I'm I'm more inclined to not. I will I will tell you one sky story. That's what they get for making their port a flower. That's fair. That is fair. You spend several pleasant hours surrounded by art, much of it painted with pigment sourced from the reach's unique flora and inspired by the lingering threat of chorister bees. Once the visitors have moved away, however, they immediately launch into lengthy diatribes on the many ways they could have done better. Ah, such is the way of the artist. Never satisfied with your own creation. Yeah, giant flower attacked by bees. It sort of, sort of seems pretty reasonable, doesn't it? I don't have any crew again. Yep, that's that's something that's going to happen, isn't it? This is quite a long way from New Winchester. Yep. I've got I've got people. Lost eight hull. Okay. Okay, that was. This is not going to end well. I have people with me though, don't I? Do the officers are still there? The officers are still there. How much hull do I have left? Nine. I am at the point where bad times could definitely happen. It is unfortunate my crew died to the bees. I probably just shouldn't have fought these. Um, that was my that was my bad. Don't die! Oh, I'm trying. It's not looking good. It is not looking good. It's unfortunate that New Winchester is a very long way away. The world grows colder. Mm. We're just we're just 
no. I can't go for supplies. I need to get crew. I have to just ignore everything. I have enough supplies. I am good. I can lose infinite supplies. Oh, I'm even passing by some? I gained some tea. Goodbye, fuel. Oh, and if only I'd got some bees. Bee honey. Do you want tea? Yeah, I could talk to you about the tea. There you go, have some tea. He clears his desk for the tea. Before I die, he clears his desk for the tea set by sweeping papers to the floor. I'll tidy up afterwards. The condition of his cabin cast doubt on that. I grew up a servant of the Eagle Khan's ambassador to London. His son Alton befriended me. We'd climb out the attic window to race urchins together. A wistful note enters his voice. We never won. The navigator trickles a spoonful of sugar into his cup, and then another. Could we stop at London? He stirs and stirs the tea. Alton died. I, I couldn't even be at the funeral. I wanted to say goodbye, but I'll need to speak to his parents first. Okay. If I live, we'll, we will try and find London. If I survive. I don't know whether you noticed, though, that all the crew left. No? Didn't notice that little detail? Hello, friend. Junior Signaler receives a dose of medicinal port in the infirmary after seeing a frozen core spin past a window. The experience has shaken him. The dead are hungry, he says. We'll need to make an offering. We'll come back. Knocking at our hull. I'm not spending anything. We'll take nightmares. That's fine. I must keep everything I have to survive here. Okay, let's get let's get some more money. <laughs> money can buy us anything. I'll I'll get another permit. I don't I don't know what I, I, they seem to be good for use if I ever get to Albion. So I guess those are going to be useful, maybe. I'm so close to New Winchester. I can feel it. Don't you dare explode right outside New Winchester. Don't you dare. Okay, good. Okay, give me some crew, please. Please, I need a crew. The Incognito Princess. First officer. I wouldn't mind a first officer. I might, I might. <gasps> crew. Six crew? That's so much crew. <laughs> That's so much crew. Plates of crockery. Anywho, I bring you souls and wood. Which means I could buy an engine. Maybe it's better to buy some plating so my ship can last a little bit longer. Might be it might be a good shout. Yeah, okay. And then we'll repair the ship. 
believe I can do that here. Yes. Fully repair. Okay, 93. Yes, deal. Deal. I will now hire the first... First, the, the, the incognito princess. Okay. I'm a humble first officer looking for... Oh, what's the word? Ah, uh, when commoners do things for coins. She asks. Work, that is. She beams at you. Delighted. As innocent as a gatling gun. <laughs> I love, that, is a, that is a great sentence. Um, as she steps aboard, a commoner calmly takes a spoon from his pocket and scoops out his eyes. What? What? After such radiance, all else is tawdry, he says, between screams. It seems she has already forgotten about her signing on money. What? The man just scooped out his eyes. She's not very incognito. No, she's still wearing her, uh, her crown. Hmm. Well, uh, hey -o. But now I have a first officer. I almost have a full crew. Oh! <gasps> None of them were actually... Equipped. Oh. Now I have two first officers. What am I doing? None of them were equipped. I didn't even know that was a thing you have to do. Tiara. Yes, that's the one. Thrilled by your tales, the princess invites you to her quarters. I have a secret, she says, removing her tiara, before donning a second, more expensive tiara. I'm Queen Victoria's daughter, she says. I trust your discretion. It's a considerable ask. This must be the captivating princess, the daughter of Victoria, who dwells in a miasma of rumours of excess ranging from red honey to cannibalism. A half-asphyxiated starling has somehow found its way aboard. It flies to her hand. She pets it gently. What is... Travelling to broaden one's mind before one takes on a new role. It would be a delight to meet with the engineers who keep the eternal ball of pureurance tick-tocking away. She smiles. You find yourself outside. What? Her cover-up was a fake tiara. Makes sense. Yes, it does. Oh, it does. My kind of people. Of course the fake tiara. Now that I see the real tiara, obviously. Before, I thought you were some filthy commoner who wears tiaras. But now... Now I understand. Ah, there we go. Now I have officers. Hooray! So my stats should be higher. Yes! There you go. Much better. So now I can actually achieve some stuff. It might actually be better that because my iron is just so stupidly high and I need hearts to keep my crew from dying so it might be better to just uh, do you because your hearts only two though only two so we're gonna try and find this stupid port hello friendo why are you so much smoke coming out here doesn't look healthy at all. And I've got plating now, which is nice. Yes, I guess we'll stop by Magdalene's. That makes sense. Uh, actually, no. I don't want to stop by Magdalene's. Magdalene. I want to go to the port then up. Afterwards. That's what I want. Edge of the wilderness, surveilled by the vigilant watchtowers of New Winchester. Oh, I can go eat here. SSE again. Bring a sweater. Oh, I will. Maybe it'll work out this time, Arid. Maybe it'll work out this time.
Settlers who live so far beyond the edge of civilization relish the hardships of solitude. They were fiercely defend their small territories, but occasionally welcome trade. The windows are boarded, the door locked, but the foliage in the garden hasn't grown wild. It was abandoned in a hurry and recently. Bring a colony of ants! <gasps> ants! I have collected ants. Good. I now have ants. I'm so glad. Do they take up a spot in my inventory? No. But they are ants. They might... I wonder if they... Does it say anything about them? You've just collected ants. Okay. Okay, which what do I want to be more east or more south, Arid? Was I not south enough or was I not east enough? What do you reckon? It's more south. Alright. So you don't think it's over here. You think it's down here. Silly bat. Hmm. No, that would it would say if it's a port, so it's not a port. by crew. Oh, I just gained terror? Oh, that's fine. As long as the crew doesn't die. Oh, hello. Um, the temperature's plummeted and continue to fall by the hour. Pipes lock with ice. The crew wrap themselves in coats and blankets. It will not be enough. Some mutter that you've angered the waste waif who speaks in frost and bitterness. The waif is a lonely power. Perhaps its displeasure would ease if you gave it some company. I don't want to... At the evening during dinner, you identify the most gregarious and amenable member of the crew. He knows your gaze. His face freezes as he realises your intent. Then he draws a shuddering breath, nods to you and excuses himself from the table. Lately, Later, his jacket, neatly folded and hat, are discovered beside an open exterior hash. The cold lessens but does not lift. The waste wave, perhaps, liked your scapegoat less than you did. Okay, good, good. I'd really rather you left me alone. items. Some more gossip. I've got so much gossip. Okay, more south. More south is what we're saying. Okay. There's a port. I assume that's a friend, and I'm just going to leave it alone. Oh, this looks good. 
This looks good. Your skeleton crew are unable to keep the engine in a necessary state of repair. This morning, a leak filled the nest corridor with grey noxious fumes. Seal off the materials recovered. I'll perform the repairs. Partial success. Good enough. Okay, no. I I have done I achieved something, but I don't want to die for it. Hey we made it. What? Why did it go blue? Oh, it's beautiful. I will do. I will do this port, and then I will uh, call it. I guess. Deliver the inspector. Make sure you have six spaces. I've got five. Three fuel, three supplies, 150 sovereigns. That was incredible. Thank you, Captain. Here is the balance of our agreement, and as promised, a requisition order for fuel and supplies. She casts another glance at the incomplete clock tower. Given the apparent state of construction, I'd recommend you visit the work site. There may be an opportunity there. And thank you for the pleasant conversation, Captain. The sky can be a lonely place. You enlivened it. I have included a small additional sum in your remuneration as a token of my gratitude. Oh, they want they want honey and bronze wood. Okay. Write a port report. Good. Ah, oh, yes, we still have this guy. Not a soul in Pulse Prosper recognizes the locket. Who's that then? Does he still wear his hat like, hair like that? Fancy becomes familiar refrains. More promising is the house you saw painting in the amenable host's chamber. You locate several candidates, all apparently repainted over the last couple of years, but one is in the exact location as in the host's painting. Nobody seemed to remember who owned it or why, but apparently it had once been associated with a parlour of virtue, established not long after Paul's Prosper's foundation. Intriguing. Gaudy banners fly over the painted rooftops of Port Prosper. The smog of the East End is hidden away by giant posters playing dragons in varying degrees of vivisection. The cramped streets are clogged with people. Wealthy West Enders promenade about the amusements while impoverished East Enders work the stalls and huddle by the chestnut fires for warmth. A painted dragon pursued by knights is chased through the crowds to a chorus of Ho! The Riding! Uh, Fraternise with everyone, yes. You are treated by as a curiosity and viewed from all sites with suspicion. Still, you find yourself in conversation with an elderly colonel who has retired to Port Prosper's. A bulwark of sanity, he calls it. A line in the sand against all the stuff out there. He introduces you to one of the riders in the procession who takes you on a tour of the carnival. You converse with chestnut sellers and flower rangers, drink in the outdoor pubs and dance with several of the vaudeville players. At the end of the day, you've learnt many names and faces, even acquired a few talk calling cards. And a performance, I guess. Located at the edge of the West End, overlooking the bridge, the gaudy widow promises unpretentious delights for the most of the family. Although out of fashion in New London, the broad amusements of pantomime and vaudeville still carry favour with the well-heeled of the West End, though they are, of course, careful to never enjoy themselves too much. She's behind you, a poster reads. What japes? What japes? This is good, honest theatre. Good, honest theatre. You find your companions in the stalls armed with boiled sweets and roast chestnuts. You shoon at the vicar hopping about the stage while the exuberant widow is almost beside herself with laughter. The interval, and subsequently the rest of the second out, is a hazy affair. There's a fire. Oh, 
offer transport to settlers. Hmm. He pours the brandy into two glasses, then produces a ruler to measure the amounts. To business, he smiles, revealing the extensive damage to his teeth. I was a pugilist back in London, a young man's game. He stands at the window, watching the starlight bathe the sloping streets of Prosper. This place exists because of constant work. From the politicians who planned it, to the pioneers who built it, to the soldiers who even today defend it from the Tackertys. We have need of more such work. Bring me nameplates from Tackerty engines. We keep lists. You will be rewarded. Um, I could hunt Tackerty locomotives, but but I... Uh, uh, sure, why not? A garrulous captain is delighted to have an excuse to talk. I'm happy to help, Gavin. Happy to help. I point down the dock. There you are. Keep going past the port. You can't miss it. With your good eyes, you might even be able to see it from here. Passage ain't free, mate. You can travel first class if you have a ministry stamp permit, or you can bring a couple barrels of hours to travel second class. I can do that. I got a, bit, I got a permit. And that's, that's them. I could offer transport to settlers, but I might do that later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undock, leave, and then dock again. Cool. And that should hopefully have saved my game. Cool. Let's find someone to raid. Uh, <laughs> and I will be enjoying my casserole to right. Find someone who's oh I clicked I clicked instead of right clicking like a fool. Uh what is interesting here? I'm going to raid Michikusa doing some Breath of the Wild any percent. Raid Michikusa, if I can spell. Yeah, cool. Hope you have a good day, a good night, oh, a good enough. evening, good whatever you are doing. I'll be back tomorrow with more of the glorious Subnautica. And maybe saw Sun the Skies on Sunday, next Sunday. Ta-ra! Last weekend, I'm saying last weekend is when this started.